This morning, Bethesda revealed the last bit of information we need before the release of Shattered Space. And no, it's nothing gameplay related. They posted an article on their website detailing the launch time, availability, and various improvements made to the game over the past year. Let's take a look at these details so that we are fully prepared for Starfield's first full DLC on Monday. The article starts off with a very basic overview of the story of Shattered Space, but then shows a world map detailing what time the DLC will be downloadable. We've known that it will drop on Monday, September 30th, but this is the first time we get to see exactly when. So it looks like I'll be starting my stream just before 10 a.m. Central Time. Next up is accessibility. For anyone that's purchased the Premium Edition, you will have immediate access to Shattered Space. However, if you only have the Standard Edition or play on Game Pass, you have two options. Purchase the standalone DLC for $30 or the Premium Edition upgrade for $35. The Premium upgrade will give you an additional digital art book, soundtrack, constellation skin pack, and 1,000 credits to use in the creation store. For those that are ready to go, Bethesda has also given details on how to access the DLC in-game. Everything will be playable as soon as you finish the beginning quest, One Small Step, and journey to a non-mission related system. Doing this will allow you to encounter the distress signal that starts off the events of Shattered Space. However, they do advise players to be at least level 35 before beginning, even though you can go to Varun Kai at level 1. The next section of the article covers PC specs, but they look the same as the original game, which is no surprise. If you've played Starfield on your PC already, you should be fine. Finally, the article ends with a recap of improvements made to the game over the past year for anyone who hasn't played in a while or anyone who needs a refresher. I won't go over all the details, so check out the link in the description or feel free to pause and read each section. They went over details on the Rev 8, improved graphics, improved maps, Starfield creations, new difficulty settings, bounty scanning, and melee improvements and ammo crafting. And that's it! We finally know exactly when to be ready and what level we should be to start. Are you ready to jump into Shattered Space or do you have to do some more leveling? Leave a comment and let us know. Like I said in the video, I'll be streaming my playthrough as soon as Shattered Space drops and I plan on being live an hour or so early just to be prepared. Be sure to subscribe here or follow us on Twitch to be notified when I go live. Thank you so much for watching and we will be back with more Shattered Space soon.